Hello. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for the relaxation time of a reaction of the type A plus B giving Z, where K1 is the rate constant for the forward reaction and K2 is the rate constant for the reverse reaction. Note that the concentration of A is equal to the initial value of A, A sub zero, minus the concentration of Z. And the current concentration of B is equal to its initial concentration, B sub zero, also minus Z. We get these expressions because um, for each mole of either A or B uh, that is converted to Z, we gain one Z and we lose one A or B. For this reaction, the difference between the equilibrium concentration of Z, Z to B, and its current concentration is D, this big D. The change in concentration of Z per unit time is equal to K1 times the concentration of A times the concentration of B minus K2 times the concentration of Z. If we now make the substitution for the current concentration of A and the current concentration of B and substitute it into our expression, we get a uh, new version of the change in the concentration of Z per unit time in terms of the initial concentrations of A and B. In this step, we simplify by using the FOIL operation to uh, remove the parentheses. Now, using the definition of big D, which is the current concentration of Z minus its equilibrium concentration, then we come with an expression for the change in big D per unit time. You notice that the term after the minus sign is the rate of change of a constant, so therefore that particular derivative is equal to zero, and we note that the change in big D is equal to the change in the concentration of Z per unit time. Now we know that when we're at equilibrium, the change in the concentration of Z per unit time is equal to zero. So we uh, set that equal to zero and we replace the concentration of Z by its equilibrium concentration, Z sub B, e, to get the expression shown in the slide at equilibrium. Here we use the fact that zero is the identity element for addition, so if we add our expression for the uh, change in Z per unit time, which is the same as the change in big D per unit time, and then add our expression 
which is equal to zero, the value of the change in the concentration of Z per unit time at equilibrium, then we get the expression as shown on the slide here. Here we substitute the definition of big D, the difference between the concentration of Z currently and its concentration at equilibrium. And we make use of the fact that we can factor the difference of squares as the sum or difference of two terms. So X squared minus Y squared can be factored as X plus Y, X minus Y. If we assume that we're close to equilibrium, then B is going to be small. So we replace Z plus Z sub E by two times the equilibrium concentration of Z. And then we substitute it into our expression for DD DT. In this step, all we're doing is um, factoring out a minus 1 from the first two terms so that we can get minus K1 times the initial concentration of A plus K1 times the initial concentration of B. So for our initial condition, the initial difference between the concentration of Z and its equilibrium concentration, D, is set to be D sub 0 at the time T equals 0. Then we make use of the fact that we can solve uh, the differential equation that we have, and we get this expression for the natural log of D at some particular time T. Here we divide through by D sub zero. And we also note that the equilibrium concentration of A, A sub E, is its initial value minus the equilibrium concentration of Z. The e equilibrium value for B, B sub E, is equal to its initial value, B sub zero, minus the equilibrium value of Z. So notice that we have um, those expressions ready to go inside the parentheses in our expression. When we make those substitutions for A sub E and B sub E, we get the expression for the natural log of D divided by D sub zero. That is shown as our first equation. Then we use the properties of the logarithm. If we take the reciprocal, we flip the sign on the right-hand side to get the expression that we see in the second line here. Here we recall that tau is the relaxation time. It's the time for that difference D to go one over E of the wave from D sub zero to zero. So in that situation, D sub zero divided by D is going to equal E. The natural log of that expression would be equal to one when we're at tau.
therefore we replace the natural log of uh, d divided by d sub zero uh, by the number one, and then we get the expression on the right hand side where we replaced t by tau. Then dividing through, we get that tau is equal to one over this particular expression in the denominator. And with that, we have our expression for tau, the relaxation time. So 1 over k1 times the equilibrium concentration of A plus the equilibrium concentration of B plus k2. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Stay healthy, stay safe, and have a good one.